Hey guys, another tutorial so you guys can build those million dollar app ideas that you have. And you're gonna need this tutorial, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. This, are you ready for this? All right, you slide this down and the image disappears. How awesome is that? All right, well, you, you gotta watch the end of this tutorial. Now that you've seen it, you gotta know how to do it, right? So anyways, we're basically adjusting the transparency of this image with this slider. And that's all we're doing in this tutorial. I mean, but after you know this, you can, you can put that in your million dollar app idea and then, you know, just, you know, shoot a donation back to my bring back if you want, you know, don't worry, don't worry if we, it doesn't come for a year or two, I'll be happy if it does. Thanks anyways. So anyways, so what we're going to do, we're going to jump in, start uh, just basically a new a new single view application so go ahead and start your application we're just gonna call this uh, slider tut and uh, universal's fine storyboard all that stuff can be checked if you want doesn't have to be though but uh, just so you stay concurrent with the, what we're going through click next and that's gonna create it in uh, wherever you want to save it and as it loads you know I was gonna well no I was gonna tell you a joke but it already loaded so it's probably gonna be terrible as it was so go into your main storyboard and uh, just go ahead and drop that open so we can kind of see the whole screen in this case you can zoom out um, take a look at the whole screen alright so let's launch into actually dropping in an image and uh, what else do we have we had a slider that was it man tough t tough tutorial here so we're gonna drop uh, an image. You can pick whatever. I'm just using uh, the my bring back symbol from our logo, and I'm gonna dump it into the supporting files. Now make sure when you dump it in that you copy the items into the destination group folders if needed. Make sure that's checked, um, or else it won't work moving forward. And go ahead and click finish. Now over to the right, we're gonna look at the objects, and there we go. Go ahead and expand that a little bit so we can scroll down and find the image view, which I think I just passed it. Yes, okay. Right there. And drag that onto the screen here. Now in this case it looks like it's uh massive. So we're gonna we're gonna tone that down just a hair. Resize it to anything you'd like, and uh, I'm just gonna center it on the screen. Now once you've got your image view placed, go ahead and click it, go up to your attributes and assign the image that you placed in your supporting files. So in this case I'm going to assign the my bring back PNG and it uh, looks good. We've got a scale to fit which works perfect um, and so on and so forth. Now just to take notice, um, this is where we're going to be modifying the transparencies within this alpha here. So if we were to do it manually, obviously you can you can set the alpha to whatever you'd like. The lower you go, obviously the transparency, the more transparent it is. Um, an absolute one value is going to be the standard image, no transparency set to it. So that's what we're going to be modifying here in a second. Um, and the other thing here is we're going to add in a slider. So go up, uh, you'll see the slider, drop it on the screen and uh, let's see I'm just gonna pull it over to the left side of the image and uh, align it to the right side of the image as well just for for reference now before we go any further we have to make one other adjustment to the slider attributes um, I mean to the attributes and specifically this sl the slider here so click your slider and as you can see currently we are at a 0.5 which is half of the sliders value so the value of the slider is at 0.5 you know, if that's over your head or you don't know what that means, just uh, follow along. But basically, we want to set that to the exact transparency or the alpha setting that the image is already set at. So in this case, we're just going to put a 1 in there. And that is going to, obviously, bam, right there, we're going to see the slider actually move over to the far right. So we're at 100%. So our image is at 100%. Um, and our slider is going to be at 100%. So the next thing we're going to do is actually hook them up, get them going. But uh, I am out of time on this tutorial. So we will continue in the next part two of the basics of this slider. So 
Anyways, catch uh, the next tutorial. Subscribe. Let us know what you'd like to see, and uh, hopefully we can we can get you that million dollar app, um, so you can build it yourself. All right, we'll catch you guys later.